Hello. This is Tom Brokus giving you a look at the first unboxing that I've seen on the Acer Chromebox CXI. So, by way. <laughs> All right. This one comes with a keyboard, mouse, two gigs of RAM. Intel 2957U processor, which is not in the Acer C720. Wireless LAN and Bluetooth 4.0. Keyboard mouse. And 16 gigabyte flash drive. So, you know, I know the same as the rest of them, I guess. But we'll see what this little puppy got. Paperwork information, of course. Good stuff. It's pretty heavy, it weighs about two pounds, I'd say. So, take this little puppy apart. And there she is the Acer C or the Acer CXI Chromebox. Display port, HDMI, headphone, um, microphone mix jack. Two USB 3.0s on the front and SD card. So, that's a mounting plate with screws. Power, or I'm sorry, mouse. USA power cable. A little stand for the unit if you do not want to mount the uh, best of bracket. Power supply box. Okay. And wow, not bad. Not bad. You get a full keyboard for. The Chrome OS experience with a keypad, pad, the double keypad. This looks really cool. Search, your tab, backspace, of course, no delete. Oh, there is a delete key. My bad. <laughs> Much better than a Chromebook. And you can put this thing on any display you want and get a high resolution. No more of the typical displays. It's going to be on an IPS monitor through HDMI. Now, before I go into that route, what doesn't come with this machine is, is of course, an HDMI cable. I'm going to need that. I needed a DVI male to an HDMI female because I don't have an HDMI port. And... Oh yeah, last but not least, two gigs of DDR3L, meaning low voltage, 1.35 volt, because it will not accept uh, 1.5. I've got a couple sticks here of 1.5 garbage, unless it's going into another machine. So there we have it. We got this. We got that. We got this. And the most important thing, we got this. Now. Also, I will install the RAM right now. So, let's see what we got here. Oh, they're not going to make it easy, man. Yeah, they're... Okay, there is a screw at the bottom. So, we'll start with the screw at the bottom. Never taken one of these apart before, let alone seen one. I figured I'd wait until I get this one. Pause. It's the new thing. Okay. This comes off. This one doesn't look as simple as other ones. Okay, so we've got more screws here. 
So now I'm just going to upgrade the RAM. Hopefully these screws are all the same size. I believe there's about 12 screws that need to come out. Now, for you people out there that don't want to go through this hassle, for about $40 more, you could get it with 4 gig RAM. I got it cheaper because I bought the RAM separately, which is only $20.40 something cents. Stubborn normal units are going to fall on the floor. One more. Alright, I know this isn't the best viewing angle. But for what I got right now, still. Mother Jones are going to get to the ring. All right, carrying on. Now this is this SD card board. Two screws holding that puppy. In. Yeah, for the person that would not want to bother. I would suggest buying the 4 gigabyte version. Okay. Uh, what else do we need? This one here. Yeah, there are different screw types too. Okay, what else this makes this puppy come up? Now, mind you, I have not seen anybody do this at all. Fan, cool fan plug. Uh, oh yeah, they stick everything on the bottom. All right, now I'm going to put the RAM in. Put it back together. See, I'm so cheap. Well, I don't have much money. So I have to do things the hard way, with sweat equity kind of thing, to afford to get stuff. Oh, there she is. Drop her down. Put her in there. At an angle. Make sure she's all good. Springy and pop. 
all that crap just to get that in there. All right. So right here we got our Bluetooth, a Wi-Fi module. We have a 16 gigabyte solid state drive. We have four gigs of RAM in here now, and it's looking good. While this is fresh in my memory, let's pop it back in there. It's always easy taking them apart there and putting them back together. Okay. But in this case, that was a snap. Alrighty, uh, and I know this one is that one. That's in there. Yeah, I wouldn't try this at home unless you really know what you're doing. Unless you want to do is return this to some place and tell them, uh, oh, I can't put it back together. You blame it on a kid or your, your kid took it apart or something like that. But avoid the shame. Plug the fan back in. Like I said, I wish I could give you a better shot. But I've been waiting for this puppy. My vision is as good with all this light in my face. Okay, that's back together. Get it off there. Put the heat sink back in. I won't let this clean for long. It's really disturbing. The brand new. Thermal compound. Tighten these things up in a pattern. Slowly but surely. Let's see if back in here. We're upgrading to 4 gigs of RAM. Okay. Now, this is from the SD card. It also has um, some kind of some kind of an input. It's hard to see because the focus is set over here. It's not all focused. But it does look like it's a hit of an expansion PCI or something or other. But, hey, not worried about it. Let's slip this under here. I can. So back in its spot. Now we put the rest of the screws in. Uh, oops, there goes one. Firm and tight. A couple more forked screws. Let's see what we got. Uh, wait a minute, we want to put these screws back in there. These are done. Uh, and I can put them to the rest of these screws in this mount plate. So let me see.
Thank you. 